My name is Carrie Del Senor. I am an environmental scientist with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Today we have a long day ahead of us. We're going to drive from Sacramento to Tahoe to pick up a yearling bear that's been rehabbed for the last six months. Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care is one of the two facilities in the state that's permitted for rehabbing bear cubs like this one. They keep the bears in an enclosure away from people because it's really important they don't become habituated to humans. Every year we get calls about orphan bear cubs. This year we had 10. Sometimes we have as many as 18. Sometimes the mother was hit by a car or abandoned the cub. In this case, we have no idea what happened to the mother. When he first came in as a cub, he had some kind of an eye issue, but he's been under veterinary care and we've evaluated him and he seems fine now. Since being in rehab, he's gained about 90 pounds. He's healthy and active, so he's ready to go home. Get out of the way, Tom. I'll get the head. Of the 10 cubs we got last year, this is the last one to be returned to the wild. It's our policy to release bears within 75 air miles of where they were found, so we're taking him all the way home to Shasta. It takes about six hours to get to the release site from Tahoe. One of our biologists in the Redding area scouted out a good spot for us ahead of time, so we have the GPS coordinates and we just have to find it. We want to release him as far away from people as possible. When we open the door, we want to make a bunch of noise to instill a healthy fear of humans. The best case scenario is that this bear never comes into contact with people again. We all need to do our part to keep this bear wild.